everyone, Terry Lynn here. I am finally doing my first pregnancy update. Um, this is our first trimester recap. Um, I am now well into my second trimester. Um, actually, this week we have our final ultrasound, which is crazy to even think that we're this far already. Um, but this week is our anatomy scan and we find out if the baby is a little baby boy or a baby girl. I have no idea. So if you have any guesses, please leave that in the comments below because I keep changing my mind, me and Derek both. <laughs> um, when we first got pregnant, I was like, it's definitely a boy. And then by the time my, like, Oh my goodness, maybe around eight weeks, I was like, I think it's a girl. But then by 12 weeks, um, my second ultrasound, I was like, it looked like a little boy in the ultrasound. <laughs> um, but now I'm back to a girl. So I've, I've been thinking girl for a while, but I really have no idea. Like I have no idea because it keeps changing every day. Um, I've been thinking of like different there's like different old wives tales, um, you know, if your belly is like a certain shape or something, it's a boy, if it's a different shape, it's a girl. I have no idea and I feel like that is not true because everyone just has different belly sizes and different shapes, so I'm not really taking heed to that, but it's still fun to think of it at the same time. Um, but yeah, we have no idea what we're having, so we find out that this week. This is going to be so exciting for us. I can't wait, um, and we will be doing a gender reveal on here. Um, but for the first trimester, so the first three months, the first three months for me were tough. <laughs> I was so, so happy and so, so excited to be pregnant, but I was so sick. So the first couple weeks of pregnancy, I was feeling like perfect. I was feeling fine. like. There was like no symptoms. Like I basically had, there was like a couple of nights where I had insomnia just because of hormone changes. But other than that, I was completely fine. And I was eating like, like the healthiest I have ever eaten in my entire life. And we eat pretty healthy anyways. But I was having like, you know, the perfect meat and salad and veggies and was just eating so, so healthy. Was not eating like any sweets which I love, like muffins and baked stuff, but I wasn't eating any of that because I was like, no, I'm going to be good for my pregnancy and I want to just eat really healthy for the baby. Um, and then I hit, I think it was like six weeks, six weeks pregnant, which are still super early, but I began to get nauseous by six weeks. And this was, you know, morning sickness which actually for me was an all day sickness. So from the moment I woke up till I went to bed, the evenings for me actually were worse than the mornings, which is interesting. But I found that I had to eat like every hour or two just to keep myself from not being super sick. So I was constantly nauseous. Um, food aversions, I could not even think of meat, which is so weird. I love chicken, I love meat, I love steak, we always cook steaks together and whatnot, um, but I did not want to even think about meat. So I basically didn't eat any meat the first trimester because it just made me so sick, the thought of it. So Derek a couple times bought a steak to cook for himself and I had to like go to the basement <laughs> because I couldn't smell it being cooked or anything. Um, I also didn't like vegetables, which is kind of weird, but I think I ate so many of them the first couple weeks of pregnancy that my body was then turned off from them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, i super sick. So every day I literally lived off of bread, um, crackers, like crackers was like my go-to snack and meal, <laughs> um, and pasta. That's the only thing. And then after a while, the pasta was just getting too much. So my first um, three months was filled with sickness. Um, I want to share with you if you um, maybe are pregnant. I love these videos and I know that when I first got pregnant I was watching these all the time. I binge watched them and I even watched them before I was pregnant because I, just, I find them interesting. Um, so I want to give you guys some pointers as well as to what helped me. Um, I'm really out of breath, sorry, <laughs> pregnancy. So one thing 
that I found really helped with the nausea was one, um, eating like snacks. So eating like every, again, every hour, every two hours, not having an empty stomach. Um, the other thing that I found out that really helped were these little candies. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. They're Jin Jins. And what these candies are, are just little ginger candy. This is a hard version. There's a hard candy and a soft chewable um, candy. I liked um, the hard candy more just because you could suck on it longer. The chewy one was kind of weird to me. It was also stronger ginger, so it was kind of like burning my mouth. Um, but these were a lifesaver. So whenever I was feeling nauseous, which was all the time, um, I would take one of these and it really did help me from giving in to my nausea. <laughs> so these really helped. Um, also, I found popsicles really helped. Um, so weird, but there was one night where I was in bed and it was like 12 a.m. and I looked at Derek and I was like, I want a popsicle. He's like, what? I'm like, I haven't had popsicles in years, but I just really wanted a popsicle. I wanted to feel like the coolness of a popsicle. Um, and so the next day, <laughs> he got me some popsicles, and I honestly found that it helped. And I later learned that the sugar from the popsicle helps with nausea. Um, so the coolness of it, also with the sugar, like seemed to kind of calm me down whenever I was feeling super nauseous. So that was something else that I liked. Um, I also sipped on like flat ginger ale for a bit. So the ginger is definitely a thing um, to help it with nausea. I mean, we know that anyways, but with pregnancy, absolutely it's a safe way. You don't have to take any kind of medication or anything like that. Um, and so that really helped. Um, other things in the first trimester, so I was super sick. <laughs> um, I was super tired. Um, I had to have a nap like every day. Um, I slept fine through the nights, but then in the daytime, if I didn't have a nap by a certain time, I would begin to have a headache and my nausea would get like 20 times worse. So I had to make sure to have a nap every day. I felt like a little kid, like having to have my nap. But I had a nap every day and that um, really seemed to help um, with the fatigue um, and also with just being nauseous all the time. Um, other than that, like my first trimester was pretty fun besides being super sick. <laughs> um, at times I was like, I just wish I wasn't sick so I could really enjoy it. But I embraced it and loved it because I knew that it meant that I had a little sweet little baby growing inside of me and I, it was all a part of it. So I took it and received it and just said, that's it, I'll deal with it and live with it. So I walked around with my bucket, <laughs> which Derek called my best friend, and um, yeah, I didn't leave that bucket. I brought it to work with me. I walked everywhere around the house with it with me. Um, it was my best friend, the bucket, so that was that. Um, so also in the first trimester, you have, of course, your first ultrasound. So I had my first ultrasound at um, eight weeks. Because we're in COVID, um, Derek can't come to any of my appointments, which sucks. Um, so my first ultrasound at eight weeks was the first time I actually got to see the little baby, which at the time was like more like a jelly bean. It was really, really small. Um, Derek says it looks like a little potato. Um, but that was my first ultrasound and you know, it's. I just, I lived there and like, I, I still didn't believe that I was pregnant. Like I was like, I need to see it to believe it. And so on the ultrasound, when I saw this little jelly bean, uh, like I just, I cried <laughs> so hard there on the ultrasound. Just, I'm gonna cry again. Just so thankful to God that he had blessed us with this, with this precious life. And um, so I lived there and I set the ultrasound, the tech, I was like, does this happen a lot? I'm guessing it does. She's like, not really. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I cried. Um, and a little, it just was like a little jelly bean on the screen, but I knew it was our baby. And she's just told us um, the heartbeat, told me the heartbeat of the baby. And, um, you know, Derek and I were super nervous going into the ultrasound. He stayed in the parking lot in the car. I walked out 
and I just had like tears in my eyes and I said I saw our sweet little baby and we both were just overjoyed and cried and um, I got a little picture of a jelly bean and showed him and we were like oh it's our baby it was so so special and then we get to send that little picture of the little jelly bean to our families um, so then my second ultrasound was at 12 weeks then it was actually like a baby like you know what I mean like it had like a head it had its legs and all of that and it was so sweet because the baby was so hyper when we went on the screen the baby was literally like when we first came on there she's like oh I think we woke the baby up because the baby was like leaning back and they had their legs crossed at the ankles just like leaning back relaxing like hey guys um and so the ultrasound's like oh i think we woke the baby up when she kind of pushed the thing down um and all of a sudden the baby was just like party time and so it was like kicking its feet um like literally bouncing up and down um and so that was just so exciting to see and so special and everything looked great in the ultrasound um and then of course we got to get a little video of it and um, some pictures and so you know it sucks that Derek uh, can't come in I know that if you're pregnant um, you're probably facing the same thing you know it's your it's our first baby um, um, after a loss and so we just want to go through that together and you know see be at these appointments together be at the ultrasounds together but we can't unfortunately um, we just have to deal with it which is it's okay it's fine um, but getting the pictures and the videos um, to sh share with him afterwards is I'm so thankful for that um, so yeah so ultrasounds appointments I had appointments with my doctors once a month um, now it's down to like two weeks uh, appointments with my OB um, and so we're on track for the baby to be here in September um, yeah the first trimester was not all that fun like I'm gonna <laughs> be honest I was just super sick all the time uh, but at the same time so thankful for that um, also in the first trimester I switched up some um, cleaning things um, and you know like beauty supplies all that because a lot of stuff has different chemicals in it and whatnot that you don't really think about when you're not pregnant um, but I did want to share just one thing today um, that I did change um, and I just love it I'm gonna use this after pregnancy as well um, is deodorant so um, I was looking for a clean deodorant that had like um, like paraben free aluminum free um, and I found this deodorant and they have like body wash and everything but it is the native deodorant here it is and the scent that I got is coconut and vanilla so this deodorant is paraben free aluminum free you can get like body wash and I think like shampoo everything in this um, it's a little bit pricey but if you're pregnant and you're looking for a deodorant um, this is the one a lot of like natural deodorants um, takes a while for your body to get used to and so you like stank for a long time um but this one worked right away and honestly coconut and vanilla oh coconut and vanilla sorry it smells so good so yummy and even though it's a little bit pricey it was so worth it um and it actually lasts for a long time um and the smell is just delicious so i'm gonna actually continue using this after pregnancy because I actually love the deodorant so much so if you're pregnant and you're looking for deodorant go get you some of this um, other than that I think that's basically a sum up of the first trimester um, again we're in the second trimester now so there's a whole lot of other stuff happening which I will do in our next update um, actually our next update would be the gender reveal so um, that will be posted in a couple weeks time um, but other than that that's basically the first trimester um, but so thankful for Derek during this time because he literally has taken care of me this entire time and a lot of times you know I couldn't be around food or make food so he's done it and he's done you know the cleaning and has done whatever he could to make me feel comfortable um, and make me feel well so Thank you to my husband, 
you are so sweet and you are amazing. So Derek will be joining me for the next um, the next uh, video, which would be our, not the next video, but the next pregnancy video, which is our gender reveal. Um, he'll be there for that one when we find out the gender. So excited. Um, anyways, if you have any questions just about the first trimester of pregnancy, if you're pregnant, if you're trying to get pregnant, um, please just leave them in the comments below. Um, I love reading your comments. I always try my best to reply to all of them. So if you have any questions, anything like that, please go ahead and do so. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. If you want to follow along for more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe.